dropping like flies. Another Trump ally leaves the Trump foxhole. David Pecker, the head of AMI, which publishes the National Enquirer, is now cooperating with federal prosecutors in exchange for immunity. Donald Trump's week from hell took another dramatic turn today with news that Pecker has provided evidence related to the investigation into President Trump's hush money payments during the 2016 campaign. That's according to reporting from the Wall Street Journal. The news is sure to send more shockwaves through the president's already shell-shocked West Wing. The New York Times reports, quote, the agreement adds another unusual aspect to a case never seen before in the annals of presidential campaign finance history. It means that a company that operates as a news organization is cooperating with federal authorities on an investigation that involves its work with a campaign. Today's development was likely put in motion by Tuesday's guilty pleas from Michael Cohen, the president's former fixer who existed at the intersection of hush money and tabloid brush fires. The Times explains the role of David Pecker's media company in what could turn out to be an investigation into something that looks a lot more like a conspiracy. Quote, the court documents filed Tuesday in connection with Mr. Cohen's guilty plea provided a far more detailed account than previously known about the payments made to suppress women's stories about Mr. Trump that could have threatened his election prospects. For his part, Trump got on the record about his views about people who help federal prosecutors, you know, the ones who work at the Department of Justice, the one that Donald Trump ostensibly heads as the American president. This whole thing about uh, flipping, they call it. I know all about flipping for 30, 40 years. I've been watching flippers. Everything's wonderful. And then they get 10 years in jail and they, they flip on whoever the next highest mm -hmm. one is or as high as you can go. Mm -hmm. it, it almost ought to be outlawed. Almost ought to be outlawed. The Associated Press ties all the threats facing the president at this hour together like this. Quote, What's known? The president who demands loyalty from his allies can't depend on them for it. What's not? From whom and where in the Trumpian landscape another bolt might strike. Joining us now, Associated Press White House reporter Jill Colvin, Frank Figluzzi, former FBI assistant director for counterintelligence. Chuck Rosenberg is back, former U.S. attorney and former FBI senior official. And with us at the table, Nick Confessori, New York Times political reporter. Frank, I have got to start with you. If you are investigating campaign finance violations, it doesn't, this feels bigger than that, is it? Oh, it's so much bigger than that. Let, let's not forget that we've got money laundering, bank fraud. We still have Russian collusion. That's what this is all about and what it started with. And now today, we have the president of the United States suggesting that maybe cooperating with prosecutors should be outlawed. This sounded, I, I'm struck continually by how much some of this conversation sounds <coughs> like wiretaps in an organized crime case or an episode of The Sopranos, where some capo is talking about whacking somebody who's flipping and cooperating. We're, we're getting very close to that. Um, Chuck, it's chilling, Frank. I just, I, we're going to cut that and maybe replay that before this hour ends, which you just said. Chuck, I, I want to ask you to drill down on these violations, these crimes that Cohen pleaded guilty to. The fact that he, he testified in court on Tuesday during that guilty plea that they were payments directed by Donald Trump. And now this news today that the head of the National Enquirer, the owner of it, has accepted immunity to agree to help with the prosecution. Tell me what that means. What have they discovered and what are they still looking for? So let me, let me take the last part first, Nicole because I think there's a really important unanswered question about David Pecker and the immunity that he received. So did he receive it a while ago, a few weeks ago, a month ago, in order to help prosecutors make the case against Michael Cohen? Or did he receive it recently, even as recently as uh, when Cohen pled, to help make a case against others in corroboration of Cohen? And so not knowing the answer to that, uh, it's entirely possible that it was the former that they used Mr. Pecker to shore up a case against Mr. Cohn. Um, to Frank's point, and I agree with you, Frank put it um, chillingly, but also accurately, prosecutors and agents require 
uh, and rely on all the time uh, the information that we receive from cooperators. I, I don't call them flippers. I think that's a ridiculous word. I find it curious that the president knows so many. Um, people who work in law enforcement tend to know folks who cooperate, uh, but the, for the president to say he's been surrounded by that by, for 30 or 40 years, I think underscores Frank's point uh, that it sounds a bit like a mob family. But this is, in many cases, the building blocks of criminal cases brought by the FBI and the Justice Department. And so this is a sad day when the president is basically saying that uh, co cooperation with federal prosecutors in pursuit of the truth uh, is a problem and perhaps should be outlawed. Um, let me read you something, Jill Colvin, um, uh, from, from Vanity Fair's reporting on this story this afternoon. Uh, Pecker's apparent, and we should just stipulate, Pecker is a friend of the president's. He also aided him politically and personally by making embarrassing things like sexual affairs with uh, porn stars and, and Playboy playmates go away. I believe Karen McDougal is on this month's um, Men's Journal or Men's Health um, as, as part of what I understood to be her arrangement um, after her uh, deal uh, from, from the president. Um, this is from Vanity Fair this afternoon about Pecker. Pecker's apparent decision to corroborate Cohen's account and implicate Trump in a federal crime is another vivid example of how isolated Trump is becoming as the walls close in and his former friends look for ways out. Holy bleep, I thought Pecker would be the last one to turn, a Trump friend told me when I brought up the news. Trump and Pecker have been close for years. According to the Trump friend, Pecker regularly flew on Trump's plane from New York to Florida. In July 2013, Trump tweeted that Pecker should become CEO of Time magazine. He'd make it exciting and win awards. Just how isolated is this president and what are the public facing signs of that, Jill? This is arguably the most isolated that this president has been. He is somebody who really puts a premium on loyalty. He expects it from the people who are around him. And again and again, he's had people who are close to him now turning on him. Take Michael Cohen as the prime example. This is a guy who said he would take a bullet for Trump, would do anything to protect his family, you know, operated on his own, trying to crush stories to help the president. He has now, you know, made this very dramatic admission in court, accusing the president of ordering him to make these hush money payments to influence the election. You've got everyone from him to Pecker now, a longtime friend of the president who kind of played this key strategic role, apparently including during the campaign, to even Omarosa, um, who is somebody who had known the president for more than a decade and who starred in his reality show. The president, you know, talked about how he'd made her a star. You know, these people around the president, whether it is for their own legal survival uh, or whether it's just in Omarosa's case, apparently to make a buck, um, are willing to sell out this president. And that's made him feel Furious. You know, you can see just from watching this White House, from even watching cable television, um, how few people have come out to defend him. There's been a frustration, you know, among people who are close to the president, who are close to the White House, that there's been very little uh, coordination. There's been very little effort to get them all on the same page when it comes to talking points to kind of help guide them through uh, what the president would like them to say. And you just see from, you know, Sarah Sanders' uh, statements on the podium yesterday, as I said, the television, very, very little kind of coordinated defense fence coming to help the president. Well, Frank Figluzzi, one of the reasons I understand to, to, to be the, the, the cause for that is that there is no defense. The president didn't tell his own lawyers what the facts were in the Cohen case. He, they didn't understand his legal exposure in, in, in the Cohen raid and, and in all the days since they haven't been brought up to speed. So why would anybody defend this president? And do you find it surprising? You know a little bit about this relationship between Mr. Pecker and the president. Why would immunity be given to someone like Mr. Pecker? What does he know about Donald Trump? Well, you don't just hand out immunity, as, as Chuck knows. It's, it's something that's done when you, two things are present. One is you believe that someone may be exposed criminally, and number two, you believe someone has value in cooperating. And so what cooperation could there be here? This relationship with the president dates back easily uh, approximately 20 years. And so Pecker has ridden on Trump's private jets. They hang out with the same women. Um, he also, by the way, goes way back with Rudy Giuliani. Remember that it was Giuliani's joint venture, a firm called Bio One, that um, remediated the anthrax in the AMI headquarters building in Boca Raton. Attack occurred in 2001, remediation in 2004. So Giuliani goes back 
with David Pecker. And so we don't know where Mueller is carving out um, the, the, the walls of this cooperation. But if Mueller goes there and if Mr. Pecker is willing to go back as far as that, then we can talk about historical crimes. We can talk about establishing a, a predilection, right, that the president does this and directs these types of payments to silence people going way back. And there's value in that. Your paper and your colleague Jim Rutenberg has some, done some amazing reporting on how the Trump orbit operationalized the National Enquirer as an arm of their PR machine. I, I believe there's some intersection with, um, you know, Fox News often promoted the stories once they appeared in the National Enquirer. It's sort of a classic, you know, planting of stories and then a campaign benefits from said stories. Can you talk about that operation and how it's being investigated now as, as a campaign finance violation? Look, we talked on this show a few months ago, Nicole, about how Stormy Daniels and AMI Media could be greater exposure for president than the Mueller and the Russia angle. And this is why. It is an important cog in the president's business and personal machinery of business, how he does business and gets around the world. He has affairs. He has payoffs and cover-ups. He wants to call in a, a political hit on somebody. He plants a story um, in a tabloid. Uh, this is how he did business. Ted Cruz during the Ted campaign. Cruz. That is For years and years, he did business this way. We now look at the Inquirer as kind of the Trump Pravda. If you want to see who's up and who's down in mm -hmm. Trump world, you can read it. Uh, now the prosecutors have that entire empire by the short hairs and they can see inside it and they have a cooperating witness under a grant of immunity who will tell them all they want to know about it. We are going deep inside Trump world here and deep inside his vulnerabilities just part, you know, just, just entirely apart from Russia. This is just how he did things for years and years, and now the cover is off. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me, or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.